Hi, I'm Robert Crow. I'm with Searchlight Group, and today we're going to take a look at doing ad hoc big data. In other words, doing data analysis or data science on large data sets in a one-time or ad hoc manner. This is really useful for situations where you aren't setting up a recurring or ongoing batch environment uh, like you often do with, with big data sets. Uh, but you just want to explore a particular question or direction once or perhaps a few times. This can be really useful when uh, you're trying to, to help set up the initial stages of trying to get an overall picture of the data that you're seeing uh, in order to set the direction for more structured analysis. The tools that we're going to be using today are DynamoDB, which is running on the Amazon Cloud, and that's our primary data repository. Uh, and then we're using uh, Elastic MapReduce, or EMR, uh, which in this case is running Hadoop, and then Hive and HDFS, and then Impala, and finally S3. And these are all running on the Amazon Cloud or, or AWS. We're, we're not going to go into detail on the data itself uh, or the queries because this is proprietary data from one of our customers. So parts of this will be blurred out. Instead, we're, we're going to focus on the process of doing these kinds of ad hoc queries, uh, and in this case, in a cloud environment. Uh, which frankly is where we do most of this kind of stuff. Uh, we'll start by spinning up uh, an EMR Hadoop cluster. Uh, this is a fairly simple cluster with one master and two core nodes. So we'll give it a name. And we don't need termination protection or logging in this case. We're just doing kind of a one-time thing. So this is running Hadoop. We could be running MapR, too. Uh, and Hive and Pig. Uh, actually, don't need Pig, but it's okay. We'll just leave it there. We do need Impala, though. Okay. And the rest of this is, uh, is pretty okay. We'll go ahead and go with these. Uh, instance types, those are fine. Don't need IAM users. Uh, all right. There, in this case, there are no bootstrap actions that we need or steps. Okay. So we'll go ahead and create that cluster. Okay. So now that's running, and uh, we've SSH'd into the master to run our commands. We'll start. Uh, by using Hive to extract the data that we're interested in from DynamoDB. Okay, so we'll set up a little bit of the environment here. All right, and then we'll create a table to uh, put our data in, in, in HDFS. And then we'll do our import. This is uh, often where a lot of the processing time is. Let me just make a little adjustment here. Uh, and we're not doing the, um, the real complex query here. Uh, what we're doing is we're just trying to extract a subset of the data just to reduce the domain that we're, we're going to look at for uh, our real detailed queries. And this will take a while. Okay, so now we've finished pulling the data from DynamoDB into uh, HDFS. And now we're going to move to Impala. So we'll quit out of Hive.
and get into Impala. Uh, Impala is really a better tool for this kind of querying. In fact, that's really what Impala was built for. So uh, now we're going to define the tables for both the input data and the result. So we need to tell Impala about the table we just created. All right. Okay, that's where the result's going to go. So this is going to end up, uh, we're going to put this in an S3 bucket so that we can go in and grab it uh, when it's ready and download it. By that time, this will be really crunched down, so it'll be a, a fairly small file to download. All right, so now we're going to do really the main query. Uh, this is really the, where we extract the detail and analyze the data. Okay, so that's done. Uh, now we're going to get out of Impala and move back into Hive. Oops. All right. And again, we'll set up some environment parameters. So now we're going to set up uh, a table in S3 uh, to export the data to. And finally, uh, we're going to export the data. This, uh, this takes a minute or two. It's, it's not too bad. Okay, and there we go. So we'll go ahead and quit out of Hive. Oh, need a semicolon. And we'll exit SSH. Okay, so now we have uh, our result data uh, sitting in a bucket in S3, uh, and this is in tab delimited format. So. We can just go ahead and pull that down and uh, import it into Excel or uh, what have you. Uh, at this point, uh, it's it's pretty pretty amenable to a lot of different things. So we can go ahead and download that, and we'll just save that data. Okay. All right, and that's it. So that's a very quick look at how you can do some ad hoc big data analysis uh, on large data sets. Uh, this kind of stuff has several uses, um, such as helping when you uh, are in the initial stages of trying to get an overall picture of the data that you're seeing uh, so that you can set the directions for uh, more structured analysis. Uh, and if you'd like more information, uh, please visit us at uh, www.slgroup.com. And thanks for listening.